YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and yesterday I posted a picture of a gear wrench I guess advertisement <clears throat> and uh, my buddy Dan guessed it yes he is uh, a youtuber and we've actually made a video together before and uh, his YouTube channel is the mechanic man 92 so if you've watched my channel and enjoy my content, maybe go check out his channel. It's got a lot of good content as well. Uh, so definitely go ahead and check out the Mechanic Man 92. I look forward to seeing more videos from you, man. And uh, I hope to talk to you soon about doing another video. But uh, to get into it, yesterday I posted a picture of a gear wrench ad, I guess you would call it. Call it. Um, and it had to do with their product catalog. I've been to uh, Gear Wrench a lot. I've looked on their website and stuff like that. And the other day, I wanted to go on there and see if they sent out, you know, magazines like Harbor Freight and Jigs and Summit. They all send out magazines, and you can get catalogs from Matco and Snap On and all of that. And I wanted to see if I could get one from Gear Wrench. Well, they actually have an electronic version of it. And when I pulled it up, they have a lot of stuff on there and uh, a lot of stuff that I didn't know they made. So, I'm going to go through that with you guys today. I also looked up a lot of the prices for a lot of these items so I can share them with you. I didn't cover everything, so if you see something on there and I don't give you a price for it, uh, please drop a comment down below <clears throat> and I will make sure to look it up for you if you uh, can't look it up. So, that's what we're going to do today. But also, stay tuned for an upcoming video on how to change a headlight on a 2008 to 2012 Chevy Malibu. Because this morning, on my way to the gym, my passenger side headlight went out. And if anybody knows about these Malibus, uh, the driver's side you can kind of access without removing the front bumper, but the passenger side, you can't do it. Uh, you have to remove the front bumper, so it is quite a long process just to change a headlight. Uh, so I'll be doing that soon. Uh, also, I've been contacted by a tool company in order to do kind of like an affiliate thing with them. Uh, do a review, an honest review on their tools and uh, share them with you guys. So they're sending me some tools and uh, I'll talk more about it later on after I've actually received some tools. I don't want to mention anything yet. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but let's get into this Gear Wrench uh, catalog review. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so this is the Gear Wrench product catalog on their website. Uh, they also have a couple other online catalogs, so if you want to check those out or if you want me to go over those, please let me know down in the description and I will be glad to do that for you. But starting out, uh, here they just have a, their serpentine belt tool and it has the flex wrench with it or you can get the solid one. I'll go over that in just a sec. Here's some of their bits. They make uh, sets. I forgot to look up the price on these, but these basically fit in certain wrenches and you can put it in their ratcheting wrenches here as well as I think you can also put on, yes, you can put them on a ratchet as well. So that's pretty handy, but I do believe they run a little bit expensive. Uh, here's their uh, individual socket sets, you guys know that I have the 10 millimeter set, which is this set right here. It's a 10 piece set. You get 5 quarter inch and 5 3 eighths so uh, sockets. But you can also get a 5 piece 8 millimeter set, a 10 piece 12 millimeter set, a 5 piece 14 millimeter set, and a 5 piece 15 millimeter set. So that's pretty cool. I think you can buy this entire bundle as well for $100, so that's not bad. Uh, and those are pretty common sockets, that's why they did it. But I think it's awesome that you get an impact socket, a shallow, mid, and deep well socket, as well as a universal socket. Then you have the 84-piece master bit socket set, which ranges from $100 to $150, depending on where you find it. Uh, that's the set that I have, and I absolutely love it. It's uh, hex and torx, so, and both metric and SAE. And then you got your 36 piece master Torx bit socket set. I'm not sure the price on that one. Uh, here's their ratchets. Uh, I absolutely love their 120 XP ratchets. I also like their 84 tooth ratchets, but I really love the 120 XPs. But you got the flex heads here. 
you got the flex head uh, comfort grip and then the, just the solid shaft uh, ratchets. Then here you have their roto ratchets, which I believe you can get the set of two quarter inch and three eighths for around $35 or $40. <coughs> And then you just have their normal quick release ratchets. I don't have any of those. I'm not sure how they are. Uh, I don't really use quick release ratchets anymore. And then they got their little gimbal ratchets or, you know, palm ratchets, whatever you want to call them. Then you got your locking flex head ratchets, which I have the locking flex head comfort grip 84 tooth ratchets, and I love those as well. Just some more of their ratchets. They have a very wide variety of ratchets, so if you haven't checked out GearRent ratchets, definitely check those out. The price ranges for each set, I didn't, you know, look up any of these. Here's the ones that I have, the quarter inch and three eighths locking flex head with the cushion grip. It doesn't come in 120XP, that's why I got the 84 tooth. They do have a three quarter inch long handle ratchet. Then they have their mechanic tool set, I, I can't remember what this set goes for. I do know they have a big set of basically, you know, your most commonly used tools to start off as a mechanic or technician and it runs like $900. There's just the sets that we've already went over. Here's some of their socket sets. These top ones, this is a 51 piece quarter inch set, 57 piece 3 8 set, and a 49 piece half inch drive set. And then you can tell they have two different ones. One is for the normal set, 84 tooth ratchet, and the other one is going to be the 120 XP uh, ratchet instead of the 84 tooth. And you can also tell by the cases, the 120 XPs will always have the gold latches instead of the black plastic hatches. Then you just have you, your uh, normal socket rails, anything you can imagine. They got quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. And then you can buy sets i think they're 115 dollars and it gives you a wide variety of everything like if you get a 3 8 set or you can get a half inch set and it just comes with every socket uh, including the universal or flex sockets then you have all their different extensions from their normal extensions to their wobble extensions locking extensions uh, really wide variety of extensions and granted extensions are very simple product, but I really liked my gear wrench extensions. Here they have more of the bit sockets. We've already went over the 84 piece and the 36 piece. They have another 36 piece set there. And then you can also buy them on their individual rails for a little bit cheaper if you don't want to buy the entire set. So they have their bit sockets individually on rails, like I was stating. Uh, swivel sockets with the Torx on top as well. These are just more of the same thing that we've already went through. Here's some of their wrenches. I really want to get a set of their 120 XPs. If I wouldn't have already bought their regular ratcheting wrenches, I, I would have went with the 120 XPs. But I do plan on getting this set, except it's a 13 piece set, I believe. It's the extra long. 120 XP spline drive metric wrenches and the 120 XP's for the 13 piece set almost runs $200 so it is pretty expensive. Uh, these prices all range depending on which ones you get if you get the regular ratcheting or the 120 XP or the normal combination wrenches it all depends it can range anywhere from 50 to $300 just depending on what set you get. They got Flex head stubbies, normal stubbies that are ratcheting, 12-piece uh, metric ratcheting set. Here they have a metric locking flex ratcheting wrench set, 8 through 19. Here's the same thing, but it's not flex head, but they are reversible. These are just the larger wrench set. I believe these run anywhere from $70 to $100, and it's uh, size 21, 22, 23, and 24. Here is the set that I'm looking, no, this one is not the 120 XP and it's not a flex head. So these run actually a little bit cheaper. I think these are around $70. Then you got your uh, ratcheting crow's feet, your ratcheting flare line wrenches or flare nut wrenches, whatever you want to call them. 
Here's some of their impact stuff. I do have quite a bit of their impact socket sets. I have this this set here, the 48 piece. No, nope, that's not it either. Uh, this is all quarter inch drive, I'm sorry. So you got a 77 piece set, which is a very wide variety of quarter inch impact sockets. Then you got a 48 piece set, a 20 piece set, and 10 piece sets. I actually have a 3 8 set, which is this one right here. 84916 November. It's a 44 piece 3 8 drive SAE and metric. It's 5 16 through 3 quarters and then 8 through 19 uh, shallow and 8 through 21 deep. And then they have a 25 piece set, 29 piece set, and then your smaller rails. Then the half inch drive set, I have this as well. I'm not sure which one I have. <laughs> I can't remember, but they do have sets ranging from you know a 14 or 12 piece all the way up to a 39 piece set. And then you have your swivel impact sockets, which I actually am looking at getting the metric set of this. Uh, if I remember correctly, they're around $80. I could be wrong. I'll definitely have to look that up. But they also have deeper ones as well. They have their extensions, which are your normal extensions, your locking extensions. You can get them in three-piece sets, four-piece sets. Just depends on what you want. Obviously, the price is going to vary. Their torque wrenches. I was actually looking at getting uh, a torque wrench from them. I was looking at getting the electronic one. They have the clicker style in quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and three quarter inch. Then here they have their three eighths and half inch electronic. The three eighths goes from 7.4 pounds to 99.6, and then their half inch goes from 25.1 foot pounds to 250.8 foot pounds. And I do know that three eighths one runs around $100, so it's not terrible. And then the indexing pry bars, I know a lot of people recommend these and I definitely want to get one. They are a little bit more expensive. I think they're around $50 to $100. Uh, it also depends on if you get the three-piece set or if you just buy them individually. They also have an extending one where it might start out at this length and it'll extend to like double the length. Here you can see this one extends. Here's our screwdriver sets. You guys know I have the 20 piece master screwdriver set. I absolutely love that set of screwdrivers. I'm loving gear wrenches screwdrivers. I actually saw these long handle ones at Advanced Auto and I need to get a set of long screwdrivers, but they did look a little thin, the shafts on these, so I might go with a different brand. But here you can see you can get them in the green handle or the orange handle that might be a little bit hard to see over there but they do have a larger version of it over here and the 20 piece set I believe ran me around $65 or $75 and then obviously the smaller sets are going to be cheaper here's their ratcheting screwdriver set I have the Matco one which is basically the same thing so I didn't even bother getting this one uh, because I got the Matco one for free here they have their hooks and picks. I have this set. I believe it ran me around $25 or $30. And then they got smaller picks as well that you can buy uh, if you don't want this seven piece set. The file set I was also looking at, I think that runs around $40 for this four piece uh, longer file set. And then you got their mini file set as well. Here's their hammer set. I did not look up the price on that one. Uh, I actually haven't even heard anything about the gear wrench hammers, so I'm not too sure how well they are. Uh, just some punches and chisels. Not sure on the prices of those either. They do make, you know, folding knives. Here's their tap and die. I was actually looking at their 114 piece set. I think it's $180, but it comes with a lot. Uh, this is their 75 piece set and their 40 piece set, so they're going to be a little bit cheaper. I think this one's around $100 and this one's around $65. I could be wrong. Uh, here's some gear wrench adjustable uh, push button tongue and groove pliers. I didn't get this set because I needed uh, or I wanted to get this set, but I wanted to get Nipex over these, so that's what I did. 
Just some uh, snap ring pliers. I don't have those. I have Tekton snap ring pliers and they work pretty good. Here's the pivot force. I was actually looking at getting these too. I know a lot of people are pretty damn happy with those. I think uh, for this set they run like $40 or individually they're like $15 to $20. And then here is their seven piece uh, plier set. It's just like the one I have. Exact same pliers, just different handles. You might be able to get into a little bit tighter spaces. Also, once again, the the bigger handle ones like I have, it's around $75 and these are going to be a little bit cheaper. Then you got their double X pliers, which run around $40 as well for the set or $20 uh, each. Then here's some pullers that they got. It's a 2 ton and 5 ton ratcheting puller. Then they got some brushes here and scrapers. But moving on to their body tools, you guys know I have this 3 piece body clip set. And that runs $35 or you can buy them individually for around $10 to $15. Then here we have their serpentine belt tools and this is the locking flex head version which runs $70 to $90 and then their solid shaft uh, ratcheting wrench which is $40. Um, these hose pinch pliers run $20 and the where is it? I actually have a set from Matco that I believe I got for $20 so they're basically the exact same thing. You can find a lot of different companies that make those. But here's a smaller set for their fan clutch tools. You can get the full set. I'll get to that in just one second. Um, the brake service kit runs around $85. The spindle nut set runs around $55. This is just uh, for removing wheel weights, uh, brake gauge. Uh, these are retaining ring pliers, uh, exhaust and tailpipe cutter. I was actually looking at getting this bearing packer because I need one and it runs around $25. Here's their oil filter wrench and oil filter pliers. The wrench runs $18 and the pliers run $30 while the oil filter socket set runs forty dollars this three-piece magnetic spark plug set it runs forty dollars as well so it's a pretty good price and the magnetic spark plug sockets are absolutely amazing I love them here you have some of your service kits um, here's the fan clutch set that I was telling you about this is the full set and it runs $80 or you can get the smaller set but I figure if I'm gonna get a fan clutch set I'm gonna get a big set so I don't have to worry about running into too many issues later on down the road uh, this quick fuel and transmission line disconnect set runs $40 uh, the brake caliper set this one here at the top runs $50 this axle nut set runs sixty dollars as well the sensor sending uh, unit set right down here is forty five dollars they also have stud removers which run sixty dollars and then you have various uh, products in here as well bearing and race driver uh, front end service set over here you got rear axle bearing set right here this works with the slide hammer which they have right over here I think uh, the slide hammer runs uh, around $100 and then this set runs around $50. Then here you have the magnetic spark plug socket set again. Both, they're a little bit different here. You don't get the wobble action on that one. Then you have the general purpose bushing set. The tubing service set. You don't really use those too often nowadays. Uh, bubble flaring tool kit and a st steering wheel remover and radio remover and stuff like that but this is what I did not know I knew gear wrench made smaller toolboxes I did not know okay so moving on sorry about that guys my camera died so I had to replace the batteries but like I was saying 
I did not know Gear Wrench made these toolboxes. Well, technically they don't make them. This is actually an extreme toolbox uh, toolbox, and uh, they made a deal with them and they got a gear wrench made out of it. Uh, I really like it because I love black and red, so <laughs> it really caught my eye. I absolutely love this. Here they have it advertised as a 42 inch, uh, but it is actually a 72 inch. And here's a little bit closer up look of it. It does have a five year warranty. You can get a stainless steel top with it. It has the locking handles, so whenever you grab the handle anywhere on it, it will release this latch, so I really like that feature. It's 21 drawers with 33,000 cubic inches, or a little bit over it. Heavy duty casters that are rated at 1,100 pounds per caster. Drawer slides are 150 pounds per pair of slides, and the bigger drawers do have two slides on each side, so they're 300 pound drawers, which I think is absolutely amazing. I don't see anything in here for a power source, but that's not a big deal. But I do like the stainless steel top. And let me show you this box. I found it on Extreme Tools, and it is $2,700. Uh, the normal Extreme Tools uh, toolbox designed exactly like this. You can get it in black and silver or blue and silver. It is $2,500, so it is a little bit cheaper. This is an extra $200, I'm guessing, because of its rebranding to Gear Wrench, but I'm not too sure. I have seen this once on Instagram, but I don't see a lot of people with this box. I'm guessing because of the price, and it's just an extreme toolbox. But if anybody has this box, please make a video of it. I would love to see it. So that is it for that. And then moving on, you have their other boxes, which I have seen before. Uh, also, this box is 25 inches deep, so it is deeper than a lot of other boxes. Then you got your more common boxes from Gear Wrench. You can get the bottoms, uh, tool carts top boxes 42 inches and 26 inches and then getting into their impacts they have the 80 series and the 81 series there are the 81 series is a little bit stronger they they don't cost that much more either it's like 20 or 30 dollars more but for the 3 8 impact let me go ahead and show you the design of it uh, the 3.8 impact runs around $150. The half inch impact runs anywhere from $125 to $200 depending on uh, which series you get. And then they also make a 3 quarter inch impact which ranges from $385 to $470. So obviously 3 quarter stuff is pretty damn expensive compared to uh, the 3.8 and half inch stuff. But that's more for you know light duty and heavy duty diesel people. But that is it for the Gear Wrench product catalog. Okay, guys, so that's it for the Gear Wrench product catalog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry uh, if I was pausing a little bit in there because I had the lights off in here so you could view the screen a little bit better. And I was trying to read off of a notepad the prices that I had written down for those products, so it was a little difficult for me. So I hope you bared with me through that. Uh, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. But please stick around for not only the company that's going to be sending me tools, but I also already received a bunch of products yesterday and today of stuff I got for the Camaro as well as some tools, and I'm going to be going over those, so I really hope you guys enjoy that too. But that's it for today, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys.